Free State, today we send a clear message to the enforcement arm of the new Appalachian state government. We will not be ruled by the institutions that brought about the corruption and destruction of our world. These assholes have taken it upon themselves to enforce their version of law and order. We cannot allow this to stand. We must let this new government know that we will not be ruled. Do you see that fucking bell down there? It's become a symbol, a shrine, a goddamn religious experience for these assholes. And Charleston, these fuckers have reestablished a DMV. <laughs> God almighty, a fucking DMV. Do you see any automobiles? What kind of sick fucks open a DMV in the middle of Armageddon? No, we are going to free Appalachia. Law and order had its chance. Governance had its chance, and it failed. I find what the new Appalachian state government is trying to do as offensive to liberty. Strength through liberty. Burn it. To the ground. Who in the fuck are you? Hope you're here to watch the fireworks. Call off your dog, Bob. He's about to lose his skin. Alright, everyone, just calm down. Damn, we just put on a show. Lower your weapons. Free states, meet the vultures. So let me get this straight. You want us to knock off Warlord's Defender and replace him with with me <laughs> fucking hell you birds have got some serious balls that's exactly what we want you to do even with your firepower the responders simply outman both of us we would never all survive a direct assault not to mention the resources it would take to lay siege it's not possible even warlords made it clear we don't attack outright now, we've had some smaller victories at Responder Outposts and their expeditionary force to secure Spruce Knob. But Commander Jones has learned his lesson. He knows he's in control. He's got the Warlord locked up. He's being a fucking prick, acting really stingy now. Hey, show some respect. I'd hate how Connor has remained so loyal to the idea of a government. Of <sighs> a fucking state. I would have respected him if he had just killed Warlord after the Battle of Big Ben Tunnel. What the fuck ever. At any rate, they're closing the distance to their green zone and keeping all assets close to home. Meantime, we have intel that says he's formed relationships with the New Brotherhood of Steel Upstart. The real fucking hero type. They hold all the cards. They could execute Warlord any time they choose, but again, fucking Commander Johns, the Boy Scout, has declared the people of Appalachia will decide the Warlord's fate starting to think he's got a real hard on for warlord i knew the fucker and he was a boy scout for sure but we had a code a goddamn warrior code you shitheads you wouldn't understand a thing about that but it's that code that will sink connor and we are going to use that against him yes this is a fucking brilliant move i love it it's going to hurt them it's going to burn them at the roots the foundation of their very purpose we will hit them behind the lines, silently, and slit the throats of the government that they are trying to install. Once the people of Appalachia realize that the responders and their pseudo-governments cannot protect them, they will perhaps reject once and for all those old world ideologies in favor of self-reliance. Fear is a fucking powerful motor. Yeah. Alright, Condor. We're fucking in. When do we start? We're here to move Daniel to a safe house. Now let's just stay focused on that task. Jones, I'm still thinking about it. Why 
Who knows, Tormund? But I'm not taking any chances. Well, good morning, Mr. Defense Attorney. I was out and about for a stroll and thought I'd stop by. Daniel, we need to talk. Um, okay, Connor. Sure, come on in. I'll, uh, I'll have Liz grab us some nukas. Bags. I can't help but feel something isn't right here. I mean, do we really want to get involved in this shit? I get it, we're anti-government, and I understand you have a friendship with the Warlord, but... This all seems really risky. We found a fucking peaceful ground here. I mean, we have anonymity. We've disappeared right off the fucking grid. Isn't that the point? I gotta say, I feel like the vultures are using us to further their cause. Would these shitheads lift a finger to give us the help if we needed it? We do this. We come onto the radar. We put ourselves on the grid, and that's going to come with a fucking price. I hear what you are saying. I do. But I want to impress something on you. If we allow this new government to take hold, and to prosper, it will not be long before they are here, trying to annex our land, tax our income, conscript our children, regulate our armory, and steal our labor. I know this is a risk. But it's one I believe is necessary to protect our liberty and our way of life. I ask that you stand with me. I understand if you don't want to take up your rifles to fight alongside a bunch of asshole raiders. I'm doing this because our very way of life is at risk. And if I can protect that and in the process help my old friend, then that's what I'm going to do. I and my rifle are with you, boss.